us to another episode on ASU G12 exams. So this is the fourth episode in this series where we've been looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 2. So the first three episodes covered question 1 through 15. So if you haven't seen the first three episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. So let us move straight to question 16. Question 16. The flow chart shows a commercial manufacture of slugged lime. What is condition J and substance K? So the question wants us to deduce what J is and K from uh, the flow chart. So limestone is nothing but calcium carbonate, which when heated, that's thermal decomposition, we get calcium oxide in the uh, kiln. So this condition should be heat. Then when we get calcium oxide, we are now reacted with basically water to form the slacked lime. So this is solid, then we react it with water which is a liquid, then we get calcium hydroxide which is the slacked lime we are looking for. So what we have is J should be heat. So anything other than heat we eliminate. Because this is oxygen, this is catalyst, so this is out, this is out. We remain with B and C. So what should be added to calcium oxide? We know this is substance should be basically water. So this is water. So we know that C is the collecting answer. So that's the principle that you need to use to answer question 16. Then question A17. Which of the following shows the collect method of collection of a dry sample of each of the named gases in the table below. So we are want to collect the dry sample of each of the named gases. Then we are looking for the method, the collective method of collecting. So to determine the method that is used to collect the gas, we use two key things, which is the density of the gas and the solubility of the gas. These two will determine the method that we use. Take note, the density one of the gas, number two, solubility of the gas. This will tell us the method that we are going to use to collect that gas. So solubility is in relation to water. So if we look at ammonia, so ammonia is very soluble in water. So we can't use the water displacement. So this one is out. So A is out. Then a second thing, ammonia is less denser than hair. Okay? Ammonia is less dense than hair. So remember, we are looking at the density of the gas relative to hair, then solubility of that gas relative to water. How soluble is it in water? So since ammonia is less denser than air, the method that we can use to um, collect it is the upward delivery method because it's going to uh, be lighter than the normal hair. So it will be this. So we need to have this delivery tube that is going to deliver this upward so that you collect it like that. So this is the upward delivery method, meaning the downward delivery method is out. Delivery is for the gas that is denser than hair. So remain with C and D. Then when you come to carbon dioxide, so carbon dioxide is slightly soluble in water. So we can't use again water displacement. So you note that these are out. So because carbon dioxide is denser than the hair, we use the downward delivery method. So we are going to have the collection here, then we pump it like this. So in this, this is how it will be. So you notice that um, we can't use this because it's slightly soluble. 
so c is out we remain within uh, d so d should be correct but let us confirm with hydrogen so hydrogen is less denser than hair and it is also um insoluble in water so hydrogen is insoluble in water so if any of this was collect we are going to use uh, this one was going to be collect but it's less denser than hair so it will be upward derivative so you notice that this is collect so d is the collecting answer so these are the key combination that you need to use for you to get a question 17 collect question a18 an unsaturated hydrocarbon with six carbon atoms contain only three double bonds this hydrocarbon is reacted with excess hydrogen at a high temperature what is the formula of the resulting hydrocarbon so how do we answer this equation so the first thing is we need to look for the clues given to us in the question so one this is an unsaturated hydrocarbon then it has six carbon atoms then we are adding excess hydrogen that's what we are adding so when we do this process what we are going to end up with is in the process known as hydrogenation which is basically the addition of hydrogen to an saturated hydrocarbon such as ethene propane butene to the double bond now because hydrogen is in excess we are going to end up with a saturated hydrocarbon with the genetic formula cnh 2n plus e two which is in then alkanes because we have excess hydrogen so because we have six carbons so we are going to replace that so it will be a six then we are going to have this two multiplied by six then plus two which we are going to have a c six then we are going to have h 12 plus 2 14 so this will be the answer so you notice that c is the collecting answer there then question a19 the reaction listed all involve ethanol so we are involving ethanol then in reaction one we have ethanol which is this one we react it with oxygen to get in uh, the carboxylic uh, acid then plus water then reaction two we are reacting ethanol with him uh, ethanoic acid which we obtained here then to get uh, this uh, product which is a salt and water then equation three we have glucose breaking down to ethanol and carbon dioxide then which law collects describe each reaction so we start with reaction one this is a basically we are burning ethanol in hair which is the combustion at the same time as the oxidation which is the gain of oxygen by a substance or the loss of hydrogen by the substance so it can either be ox oxidation or combustion so either of these can be collected then reaction number two we are reacting ethanol and ethanoic acid so this is esterification so acidification out then this is out so a is out and c is out remain with a and d then the third one we are breaking down the glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide so this process is known as the fermentation so which is in the process by which sugars such as glucose are converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide by the action of microorganism known as yeast in the absence of hair so you notice that it's not addition so d is the collecting answer so these are the principles that you use to answer these uh, questions question a20 start the following organic compound why is the compound shown able to decolorize the bromine solution it a can dissolve in bromine solution b as a 
double carbon bond C as a single carbon bond then D as both single carbon and single carbon hydrogen bonds so what is the correct answer so the correct answer in this case is in because of the double bond which is this one so this double bond so what happens is when we react this substance in this case it has a three carbon you see a uh, propene so this propene when we react it within the bromine solution so what is going to happen is it is going to be like this this is will be the double carbon bond like this then this is H then this is hydrogen then we also have let us say this is hydrogen so the hydrogens are supposed to be six and then another one here so now when you react it with bromine solution bromine solution is going to break this uh, double bond because uh, this is an saturated so once it breaks this double bond is going to uh, form here this we're going to have the bromine here and another bromine here so it's this unsaturated bonds that allows for bromination to take place so bromination will take place because of the double bond so you see that double bond so i'm going to move to this once we react it with bromine solution ends the bromine is going to lose its reddish color so that's the reason so thank you for joining me in uh, the first episodes where we we'll focus on question a1 through a20 which is section e m so join me in the next episode as we start looking at section b in details thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is the best a section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic